highways can take us where we want to go. Driving down the interstate or cruising down the information highway, it's possible to explore an infinite number of destinations. You might not even notice the cliffside exit on Highway 74 if you're headed to the mountains that way. You might even drive around this little town in the North Carolina foothills and think it's nothing special. But if you grew up here, or if you visited one of its special addresses, you might have a different idea about this place. The reason it's unique is that you can attribute its development to, to one person. His name is Raleigh Rutherford Haynes, H-A-Y-N-E-S. He was instrumental in the development of mills all up and down the Second Broad River in Rutherford County. He, he was a very influential man. But his love and his dream was Cliffside. Reno Bailey also loves his little cotton mill town. He grew up here and later moved away. But he never forgot the town or its people. When Reno and his wife Betty retired, they worked in the yard for a couple of months. Then they decided they needed a project. We wanted something to occupy us, but it was also something with meaning. So they created Remember Cliffside a website dedicated to the memory of one of the many company towns in North Carolina. People literally get on there and read for hours and hours and hours. Uh, there's, it's full of uh, newspaper articles, original articles, and uh, stories of years ago. The website features postcards from the early days photos of the Cliffside Railroad, as well as photos of a model of the town created by cartoonist Jim Scancarelli. It's an incredibly detailed HO scale replica that was inspired by the town of Cliffside. In a section of the website called Odds and Ends, you'll see bits and pieces of Cliffside's past, a funeral home fan, a company pay envelope, and information about how the website actually works. In a special section of odds and ends entitled, Can You Speak Cliffside? You'll discover the meaning of expressions from yesteryear, expressions like directly and war to a frazzle and dope. It's a list of phrases that people use and uh, that might or might not be uh, exclusively cliffsides, but at least it is for the South. In Cliffside, we used to call a jukebox a piccolo. And, uh, you know, as in, go put a nickel in the piccolo and play a song. And uh, never heard that from anywhere else. I put in a phrase in there, I, I heard somebody say it, A-law. 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 And so I put it in there and I made up some uh, example sentence for it. If you're interested in books about small town life in the South, you'll want to take a look at Reno's reading list. Most of the website is devoted to the history of Cliffside. Much of the material is old, from the photographs to these advertisements that ran in the town's newspaper. But part of the website focuses on the present. Take a tour and see what the town looks like today. The downtown part is gone the stores and the main landmark of the town, uh, the Memorial Building, that was built in 1917, is gone. It's a very lonesome place. You hear the wind whistling. In the section of the website entitled One Last Time, Reno chronicles a tour of the mill he took with a small group in January of 2004. The mill, which had primarily been used for storage in recent years, was shutting its doors for good after 100 years of operation. If the present is dim for this small company town, its memory still burns bright on computer screens all over the world. Recently, somebody sent me a picture or several family pictures of a man named Will Hames, who was the first photographer in Cliffside. Just discovering who he was and what he did and how long he worked there and seeing some of his work was a real thrill. Stories, photos, the way things used to be, voices of a bygone era, 
They seem to say, remember our work, remember our lives, remember Cliffside.